Look, man. Day four. March Madness, 30 for 30. We in here. I just put up the video of me, me and Rome going one-on-one. -on -one. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't. It's early right now. I'm getting some reactions done. I'm in the lab. I'm probably getting about three, four done. Make some food, make some steak, show you guys what I'm making. I don't have much cars going out right now, but I do want to get a lot of content done right here. Uh, I got to work on some TikTok stuff. I got to work on some edits. I got to work on YouTube. I got to work on some thumbnails. I got to um, feed myself, man. And like you guys know, you know, I am going to be dropping some weight this month. That's what I should go do is weigh myself. That's probably what I'm going to do for you guys. But, um, you know, trying to just cut out all the pretty much carbs, go back to a carnivore based eating, just pretty much meat, animal based, you know, um, foods, some eggs. I'll have a little bit of lettuce and stuff like that. Some salad, as you guys seen before, just kind of fill the meal. And then maybe I'll have a little bit of potatoes here and there. Besides that, man, I really don't want anything else. As you guys know, I'm very excited about this 30 for 30 especially for this channel. Other channels, they get to see me every day. But this channel, I feel that it's time well overdue for me to put out content like this and uh, be consistent on this channel. Hopefully, we can see some growth, man, this year. I'm going to stay consistent. I'm going to go 30 for 30 to prove that. And then, um, yeah, man, let's see some growth. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on the video, man. All right, y'all. So check me out. I'm going to make some steak real quick. Get my uh, meal in. Two nice petite fillets on there. Right. Go ahead and get some seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this turmeric on there. I already put a little bit of salt. Put a little bit of turmeric. Put a little bit of garlic, garlic powder. Straight from Trader Joe's. If we can get a focus. Boom, boom, bam. Just a little bit. Just a little some, some. Flip them over. Flip them over. Make sure we get some of that young seasoning on both ends. So what I like to do, flip it back over. Spread, spread, spread. And I kind of just let the steak marinate, right? Bang. Go ahead and get a little flip. Bang, bang. Boom. Right? You know, let that cook right there. I do want to mention is I do... For my steaks, I like to make them with ghee instead of butter. I make this with ground beef too. Uh, clarified butter has less of the bullshit that all the butters have. Even when I buy butter, I make sure my ingredients are only about three, three to four ingredients max and uh, not a bunch of bullshit. So um, that's one thing you guys should look out for. We got the Caesar salad, right? That should be a good amount right there. Got that young Parmesan cheese that we go ahead and dump in here like that. Wham, 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 wham. Ooh, ooh, shit. That should be enough right there. Ah, you know what? Put a little dash right there. Boom, bam, 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 bam. That should be good right there. I'm trying out this new sauce. Steaks are looking immaculate. Steaks are looking immaculate. Okay? I'm trying out this new sauce from Bolt House, it's not new, it's new to me. I've tried Bolt House before, but I've never tried their Caesar. Notice that the Caesar I was using, it did have a lot more calories. This one only has 50 calories per serving. It has three grams of carbs, which is two more grams of carbs more than the other ones did. Calorie difference and then the ingredients, it's a little, you know, it's a little better. I'll we'll get a little bit on there. Boom, 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 Right? This one is like a yogurt dressing dip type of situation. Asiago Parmesan cheese. Take a fork, mix it up this way. Bang, bang, bang. Boom, right? Get a nice mix in there. It's getting there, it's getting there. Keep it to a minimum. We looking good, boy. We looking strinning Yeah. One thing I haven't showed y'all this whole March Madness is my weight challenge. Not challenge, but point of march for me is to drop some body fat, get back in shape, go hard. So we're gonna get, hop on the scale, check our weight. Damn, okay. So I lost some weight. We had 297. And I got a full tripod set on. I got, I just realized I got my fucking work uh, headphones, my, my headphones on. And I got a full setup in my hand. So. Not bad at all. I'm actually a little surprised. Um, checking the scale, you know, I am down a couple pounds. 
which is uh, nice to see. I don't really like to look at the scale too much. I already know naturally by how hard I work in the gym and when I eat with pretty much an animal-based diet, no carbs or low, low carbs and eating, you know, uh, like this, this is new to me, not new, but I'll, you know, throw some lettuce, throw a little bit of cheese, throw some, boom, just have a filler, but mainly when I'm eating protein and uh, getting my protein in and not just eating a little bit of it, making sure I'm getting 275 grams to about 300, 350. And I don't like to eat too early in the day. I naturally tend to fast. That's another thing that I know will help me when I eat animal-based. I'm never hungry. Um, so I, I literally, I don't even need to eat right now. It's 3.30 and I haven't eaten anything and I feel perfectly fine. I'm working, I'm getting my shit done. I'm creating videos, creating content. Um, I'm on schedule. I'm about to clean the house. I'm, I'm just in a good mood. And um, I noticed that naturally. So I know, I just, it, it is surprising, but it's not surprising that I am losing weight. And it's only been three days. And technically, I'm eating a little bit more calories than I should, and I shouldn't even be eating that. It's just a little bit of filler for me just to get my way into it, getting back on just a straight, pretty much carnivore, animal-based diet. Uh, and then I'll start adding in some natural things like some pineapple, watermelon, mango, papaya, maybe a banana in here, here and then before training or something instead of just eating um, salads and stuff. So uh, I think I'll get a little bit more nutritional value from those fruits like pineapple, watermelon, mango, papaya, and a banana here and there. Not all the time, just a little bit. Steaks are definitely sizzled up. You hear that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check me out, man. Steak's done. It's time to eat some lunch. It's 3.51, so literally shows you I pretty much went all day without eating. I feel perfectly fine, literally not hungry. I just know I need to feed myself. Probably gonna do a little bit more work. Probably edit about two more videos and then make my way to the gym. Well, actually I gotta clean up around here a little bit and then I'm gonna make my way to the gym around 5.36. So let's go ahead and try this salad with the new dressing, that Bolt House, less calories. Actually from the normal one that I was eating, this is like 120 less calories, but the other light one, this is like 40 less calories. It's got, it's got the Caesar taste, I'm not gonna lie. So for the less calories, I'll take it. A little bit more expensive, but hey, Putting this shit in your body, man. Let's go ahead and try this steak. Yup. Hitting just like that. Mm hmm. You see it? Nice little sauce right there. Mm -hmm. If you're asking or you're wondering why I got my headphones on, this is what I do. I eat real quick, I'm back to it. Boom, 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 I'm back and forth. So this is natural, bro, my bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and mess with this. I'm gonna get this out the way. Whoa, got a little bit of sauce. And then, uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you some of the things I, I might eat before I go train or something like that. Scoop of that young protein. Fuck. A little bit of flavor. What we got for pre workout right here? Protein shake. Bang. Yogurt. 15 grams of protein. Bang. Vitamins. A little bit of chicken. Some young sriracha on everything. <laughs> Zero calories. You guys are probably thinking that's a weird mix. Yogurt, chicken, protein shake. Don't worry about it. All for the gains. I used to really have to put my pills in the yogurt just to swallow the pills. Crazy. Just stopped over here at Get Yoked. About to go grab some stuff real quick. Probably grab a protein shake. I didn't finish the rest of my protein shake at the house. I forgot it. Um, so I'm gonna grab like maybe some protein chips or something like that. Grab a little goodies. Get up out of here, man. Get to the gym. It's a little late. Running a little late today, so yeah, let me get up in here and I'll show you what I get.
literally didn't end up getting much got a uh, quick protein shake from mre or actually from uh, redcon it's just a meal replacement that's what mre stands for i never knew that but this is the best flavor bro from that one that's pre-made and i got a quick little celsius for some caffeine and i'm gonna take my evp stuff when i get to the gym so like i said i'm running late i want a little bit of caffeine to get going and uh yeah i'm on my way to the gym now just pulled up to the gym about to go up in there right now the rows in we're not recording too much we're short on time but um yeah we definitely get some of these in right now come on get it up i'm just leaving la fitness right now it's currently about 11 o'clock. I just got out the sauna. Um, man, lifted for about an hour and a half. Got some cardio in, did some battle ropes. And um, I did some back, I did some shoulders, a little bit of arms, not too much. Tomorrow I'm gonna have a real, like one of the heavier days. I'm gonna have a heavy uh, press day. And then um, we also got some basketball. I got carried away. I didn't wanna play too much basketball, but I ended up playing for like an hour and a half. Got a lot of steps in, got a lot of good sweat in, a lot of good cardio. Um, I really wanted to get some Stairmaster in, but I did miss out on it. Um, besides that, solid workout, you know what I mean? Getting some good progress. How you feeling? It's bad that you, you didn't record those uh, game-winning shots that I made. But yeah, man, we just got to play. Every other play, it's a bank shot. The bank is open. So look, man, probably going to get up out of here, probably get some food. I might go to the grocery store, take you with me. But... Um, yeah, man, I'll catch you at the crib. Update, I'm back at the house. Uh, I decided I was gonna try to make it in and out. I went home, I decided, man, I wasn't trying to cook right there. I was trying to get um, some reaction videos done, trying to get some content done. I knocked out about two videos, showered up. It's about one in the morning, or it was about 12.30 at the time I finished. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna cook. I was gonna try to make it in and out, but I couldn't. I just decided, man, let me just get some chicken strips. I got two five count chicken strips from Carl's Jr. I looked at the calories. I, I eat them all the time, don't get me wrong. For five pieces, it's 440 calories, 41 grams of protein with 18 grams of carbs. I'll take that. So I got two of those. You guys do the math. That's about 80 grams of protein um, and about, you know, 36 grams of uh, carbs. So I'll take it. Usually I want my carbs lower than that, but you know, for the time, for the convenience, not too far from my place. Now I'm able to go crank out some content, get some edits done, get this video posted. Sometimes it's about time, man. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you don't want to break down, cook, wash, do all that stuff right there. So dedication, man. I'm definitely trying to go hard with this 30 for 30 March Madness. You know, it's my goal. I feel good already. And um, I feel like I'm working towards the right direction. I feel like I'm getting a lot of things accomplished. And, you know, I like I said it before, this is how I feel usually when I cut out carbs and cut out the bullshit from the diet the oils and all that shit they're trying to feed us you know it's how i start to feel you know i'm just on it everything my mind's so clear i want to get everything done so i'm very excited to see the results at the end of march and um you know for you guys that are wondering it, when you guys see this video I'm just kind of doing this and i kind of do it every year it's just a point in life where you turn it up a little bit you just barrel down and you focus up and you get shit done and you turn up your life so that's the whole point of this financially mentally nutrition um physical uh relationships everything your goals aspirations everything you got going on march is the time to turn it the fuck up and let it lead the way for the rest of the year with momentum and stuff like that man so you know it's kind of like my why and stuff like that not my why but kind of why i do it for march so um that's what i got for you guys man i'm gonna go enjoy this food get some editing done and uh i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one if you want to see any type of content let me know uh q a stuff like that mug bangs whatever um information you guys need whatever the case is let me know and uh man hit that like button drop a comment down below hit that subscribe button man and we are gone